All right, let's go ahead and get some web client IDs, right? So if you go back to the developers console, right? So console.developers.google.com and go ahead and find your project, right? So um, your grid recorder. And within here, if you click on that guy, then up in the upper left here, um, you're gonna see APIs and credentials, right? Under APIs and off, and you're gonna go to credentials. We'll click on this guy. Um, and then you'll see that it says OAuth here. Um, so that's actually what we're gonna do. So we're gonna start off by creating a new client ID. Uh, and if we pop this guy open, um, it'll ask us, um, let's just follow it through here. So create client ID. So it is a web application. Um, the later ones, as you can see, we're gonna come back to this a bit later to create ones for, the, for our, our mobile clients here. Um, let's start off with the, with the web client um, and then authorize JavaScript origins. So what we will do is we're going to, to use the, um, our URL here, okay? So we want uh, your username, grid recorder, um, like that, okay? And add appspot.com. Uh, all right, so that looks good. And then we're gonna click create client ID. So let's go ahead and do that. And it'll think for a second here. All right, and what it's, what it's done here is it's given us a uh, client ID and an email address and client secret and all this crazy stuff here. Um, we do not need any of this. We just need the client ID. So what I'd like you to do is grab this whole chunk here uh, under client ID, go ahead and copy it onto your clipboard. And then if you'd go back to, um, back to your project, uh, web client ID, and we'll paste that in, right? So that that is the value of our string, okay? Uh, that's all we needed to do for this lesson. So we'll see you from the next one.